Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create repeating patterns, seamless tiled repeating patterns in Illustrator CS 5.5 and earlier versions. The reason for this is that in CS6, a new pattern make tool was included with that application, which makes making patterns a whole lot easier. But if you're stuck with CS 5.5 or earlier and if you want to make a repeating pattern, then you have to use a different technique. I've had a lot of subscribers of my YouTube channel asking how to make these patterns, so I think it's time that we actually went and did it. So here's the video that you have been asking for. To look at how we would create a pattern inside Illustrator CS 5.1 or any earlier version, in other words, anything that's not CS6 and later, we're going to start with a new document. Now I'm going to make this a fixed size, so I'm going to choose File and then New. I'm going to make this a thousand by a thousand points. Now I want to be working in RGB, so I'm just going to select RGB here, and I'm quite happy with the rest of the settings, so I'm just going to click OK. So this is my artboard here, and what I'm going to do is, because this is a thousand by a thousand, I'm going to create a rectangle in here that is 750 by 750, which is going to be my pattern size. So I'm just going to click here on rectangle and click here. I'm going to type 750 and 750. And then I'm going to select this with the selection tool and I'm going to align it. So I'm just going to click here because I want to align it to the artboard and I want to center it horizontally and vertically. So it's right in the middle of my artboard. Now let's just check and see what we've got here. I don't want it to have a fill, so I'm just going to select no fill, but it's going to have a black stroke for now. Now I just like my tools here to be a little bit wider, so I'm just going to change this around a little bit. It's a while since I've worked in Illustrator CS5. So now that I've got this, I'm going to start drawing the polka dots for our pattern. So I'm going to go here to the ellipse tool and I'm just going to drag out a polka dot and it's just holding down the shift key as I do this so that it is perfectly circular. Now I want this to have a fill but no stroke and I'm just going to go here to the swatches panel and let's choose a color to fill it with. Well, let's choose this sort of orangey color. Now I want to center this in the document because it's going to be the center part of my polka dot pattern. So again, with the selection tool, I'm going to select it. And because everything is already set to align to the artboard, all I need to do is to click here on this center icon and this center icon, and I know that it's centered perfectly. Now I want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to choose Edit Copy and then Edit Paste in Place. So it's immediately right in the very, very center of this artboard. And I'm going to choose a second color. So we're going to make this pattern a sort of orange and yellow pattern. So I'm going to choose a sort of yellow color here. What I need to do is to send this yellow dot all the way up to here. So I need to locate its central position. Now I know that the artboard is a thousand points by a thousand points in size. And I know that this is 750 by 750 which means that this area here plus this area is 250 points. Half of that is 125 points. So this location here is 125 points in and down from the top corner of the artboard. It's pretty important to know that information so that I can center this exactly. So with this selected, I have currently its X and Y values as well as its width and height. Well, I'm not worried about its width and height, but I am worried about its X and Y values. And you can see here that its reference point is center, the very center of the shape. So I want to move that back up here to 125. And this point here needs to be 125 as well. And now this dot is positioned exactly over the top corner here. And that's really important to get this right or else our pattern's just not going to work. Having done this, it's now easy for me to copy and move it. And I'm going to do that using object and then transform and then move. Now, I want to create a copy eventually, but right now I'm just going to select preview. And I want to move this 750 points in a horizontal direction. So I'm just going to type 750. You can see that it's moved to exactly where I want it to be. But I want this one as well. So all I need to do is click copy and I've got both of them. 
Now we need to duplicate them down here. So I'm going to click on this, shift click on this to select it. And now we want to do the same thing, but this time in a vertical direction. Object, transform, move. Now I don't want to move it horizontally because it's in a perfect position. So I'm just going to type zero in for the horizontal movement. But I do want to move it vertically 750 points. So I'll type 750. As soon as I tab out of this dialog, I can check visually to make sure that these dots are going where I want them to be, which is exactly there. So I'll click Copy. So this is the basis of my repeating pattern. I'm going to take out for my pattern a small quarter from this dot, one from this, a small quarter from this, and a quarter from this, plus this. And the way that we tell Illustrator how to make the pattern is we're going to use this particular rectangle. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to turn off its stroke and turn off its fill so it doesn't have any stroke or any fill. I'm just going to press Escape because I've gone into isolation mode here. With this selected, I now need to send this rectangle as square to the very back. Object, Arrange, and it needs to go to the very back. So I'm clicking Send to Back. So if we look inside the Layers palette right now, let's just go to the Layers palette. We will see what we've got. We've got four circles. We've got an orange circle, and at the very back is our rectangular path that has no fill and no stroke. Now this is exactly the way Illustrator expects you to create a pattern. It expects you to have a path with no fill and no stroke that is the exact size of the pattern piece, which is this piece here. And then you select that plus all the other objects here. In fact, I can just select the entire layer and make that into a pattern because that's exactly what I need to make my pattern with. And all I do is drag and drop it into the swatches panel. So I have it selected here. I'm just going to click and drag in the middle and drop the whole lot into the swatches panel. And that is my pattern made. So now let's see how we would use the pattern. And to do this, I'm going to create a second artboard. So I'm just going to click here on the artboard tool and I'm just going to click and drag to create a second artboard. Just want to leave the original pattern piece in place so that it's there so we can refer to it if we need to. And we could also make changes to it if we needed to. So here's my second artboard. And I'm going to create a rectangle that is the size of this artboard. Select my rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle the size of my artboard. I want to fill this with my pattern. So I'm selecting the fill option here. I'm going to my swatches panel and here is my pattern. I'm just going to click to add that pattern to my new rectangle. Now to see the pattern, we want to shrink it down a little bit so we can see that it's working perfectly. To do this, I'll choose Object and then Transform and Scale. And what I want to do is I want to scale the pattern but not the objects. I'm going to deselect objects. I'm going to scale my pattern down to 25%. And when I hit Tab, because I've got Preview turned on, you can see that the pattern is now working. We've got this polka dot, multicolored polka dot pattern that is filling our rectangle. Everything is working as we would expect it to. So that's how you create a regular repeating pattern inside Illustrator CS 5.5 and earlier versions. You'll need to mark out the area that you want your pattern piece to be in, and then you'll need to create the pattern elements, making sure that if you want a regular pattern like this, that you throw part of the pattern up into the four corners and make sure that everything is positioned really, really neatly so that your pattern will repeat perfectly. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.